Hello, primary four students. I'm Miss Ale. On behalf of AMS English Department, I would like to welcome you today. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. In this video, we're going to learn more about grammar. So today's agenda items are the present simple and the present continuous. Please open your mini curriculum booklet on page 31 and don't forget to bring a pen or a pencil. Now, let's get started. As we can see here, we have three forms of the present simple tense. The affirmative form, the negative form, and the interrogative form. So let's check the affirmative form. Like, I walk, you walk, he walks, she walks, it walks, we walk, you walk, and they walk. What about the negative? We need to use not. So how can we use not without helping verb? So in this case, we need to use do or does. I don't walk, you don't walk, he doesn't walk, she doesn't walk, it doesn't walk, we don't walk, you don't walk, they don't walk. The interrogative form to start with the helping verb. So we will start our questions with do or does. Do I walk? Do you walk? Does he walk? Does she walk? Does it walk? Do we walk? Do you walk? Do they walk? And the short answers are affirmative or negative. So let's check the affirmative together. Yes, I, you, we, they do. Or yes, he, she, it does. But the negative form will be no, I, you, we, they don't. Or no, he, she, it doesn't. So let's check together the third person singular form. Here we add s to the verb just to form the third person singular, he, she, or it. Like, I drink, he drinks, I run, he runs. But sometimes we have another cases. So let's check together what are these cases. As you can see here, sometimes we need to add es instead of s because of the verbs that ends with ss, sh, ch, x, and o. Like, I watch, he watches. The second rule, with the verbs ends with a consonant plus y, we change the y and add ies, like I cry, he cries, but with the verbs ends with a vowel plus y, we just add s as usual, like I play, he plays. We use the present simple tense for habits and actions that we do regularly, like he visits his friends every Sunday or she goes to school by bus. The second reason for general truths. The sun rises in the east. The last usage for permanent situations. He lives in Athens. Let's check together the frequency adverbs. These are the keywords for this tense. Always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, never, they are placed before the main verb. But what about the time expressions? Every day, every week, every Friday, on Mondays, on Sundays, at the weekend, in the morning, in the afternoon, in winter, in spring, once a day or once a week. For now, let's practice on the present simple tense. Open page 32, exercise A. Write the third person singular of the following verbs. Number one, play. It will be plays. Very good. Number two, wash. I can hear you. Wash with ES. Very good. Number three, drive. Drives. Very well. Number four, fly. Flies. We will kick the Y and add IES. The rest of this exercise will be homework. Please open page 33. Exercise B. Complete the sentences choosing the correct form of the verb in brackets. Number one, David table tennis. So the answer is plays. Very good. Number two, they to school on foot. They go to school on foot. Carol in bath. Carol lives in bath. Number four, school at 6.30. School finishes at 6.30. Number five, we TV in the evening. We watch TV in the evening. The rest of this exercise will be your homework. So now let's turn to the present continuous. Open page 38, 
Here we will check together how can we form the present continuous tense. Am is are plus the verb plus the ing. And the other forms are the plus, the affirmative one, the question form is the interrogative one, and the negative is the minus one. For the affirmative one, I'm speaking. She is speaking. The question form, are you speaking? Is she speaking? The negative form, I'm not speaking. She's not speaking. And now let's check together the keywords for this tense. Right now, now, at the moment, or in the middle of. I'm doing the washing up at the moment. What are you doing now? Temporary actions around the moment of speaking. Tom's reading a new novel. They are building their new house. The irritating or the annoying habits. My brother is always listening to loud rock music. It's so annoying. But here we have an important rule. Some verbs are not used in the present continuous. They are normally used in the simple forms. Some of the most important ones are like, know, love, hate, understand, believe, mean, remember, want, and prefer. So let's check together the examples. We cannot say, I'm liking tennis. I can say it, I like tennis. Are you knowing Maria? I cannot say that. I can say, do you know Maria? Now, open page 39 to check the spelling rules. With most verbs, we add ing, like go, going, play, playing, work, working. If the verb ends in a consonant plus e, we will delete the e and add ing, like come, coming, move, moving, live, living, have, having, exception for be. We will add ing, so it will be being. If the verb ends in ie, we change the ie to ying, like die, d-i-e, we will change the ie into y-i-n-g, like dying, lie, lying. But if the verb ends in one vowel plus a consonant, we will double the last consonant, like get, getting, by doubling the T, run, running, by doubling the N, chop, chopping, by doubling the P, sit, sitting, and put, putting. Here we have two exceptions. When the verb ends in one vowel plus Y or W or X, we just add ING, like play, playing, snow, snowing, and next, mixing. The when the last syllable verb is not stressed, like listen, listening, visit, visiting. The last exception here, the word travel. In this word travel, we can double the L as the British accent. And for the American accent, we can leave it with one L. Now, the practice time. Please open page 40 and let's start with exercise A. Add ING to the following verbs. Camp, we will add ING, camping. Number two, swim. Swimming, very good, by doubling the M. Number three, travel, it was the exceptional one. So we can leave it as travel with one L and add ING, or we can write it as traveling by doubling the L. Number four, have, having, very good. The rest of this exercise will be homework. Now, exercise B. Complete the sentences with present continuous forms. Number one, his dad and brother sing their favorite song. So, his dad and brother are singing. Very good. Number two, we not travel to Japan. So, the answer is we aren't traveling to Japan. Number three, I take a sun bath on the beach. The answer is, I am taking. Number four, she not watch TV. She isn't watching. Number five, they not swim in the sea. So the answer is, they aren't swimming in the sea. The rest of this exercise will be your homework. Thank you so much for watching, listening, and interacting with me. I was so glad to be here with you today. Bye for now and wait for other videos.